Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's convert text and PDF files to EPUB format. So the iBooks app on both the iPad and the iPhone uses a format called EPUB, which is this open format that's great for ebook readers. Now what makes it different than PDF files are PDF files lay out everything precisely so they look exactly the same no matter where you view them. EPUB's a different animal. What it does is it allows the text to flow depending upon the size of the text, the size of the page, and all sorts of different factors. So you can actually adjust how you read a book and you can read it on different sized screen devices. So how do you get one of your files, say if you have a text file or a PDF file, you get it into EPUB format so that you can view it using iBooks. Well, you have to use a conversion program. Let's go and take a look at one. So while there are many programs that will do this, the one I'm going to use is called Calibre. You can get it at calibre-ebook.com. So let's now import a book. I'm going to do it in a text file format to be the simplest. Just drag and drop it in there and it will add it to your library. Then if I select the file, you can see it thinks author unknown and it's got no information here because it's simply a text file. I can see at the bottom here I've got the format is simply TXT. Now I can edit the information on the book and give it a title. And now it makes a little more sense there. Now to convert it to EPUB format, I can select convert ebooks, convert individually, and then I can choose on the left the input format is TXT, on the right the output format is EPUB. And I can change its title and author and things like that and give it some more specific EPUB format fields here. Select OK and it will work for a minute. And when it's done, I see that I've got it selected and it says there's two formats now, EPUB and TXT. So now to get to my iPad, I choose save to disk and I can choose save only EPUB format to disk. It will ask me to choose a destination directory. I'll just save it to the desktop and it will save it out. And what I've got is a folder here. Inside the folder is the name of the book and in there is the EPUB formatted file. I can drag and drop that into iTunes, sync with my iPad or iPhone, and I'll have the book available in iBooks. Now you can also convert PDF files. So here's a PDF file of a book that you may have purchased as a PDF document. Drag it in to Calibre and it will bring it in and then you've got the same thing here where it's just unknown author and you can set the meta information. Let's just quickly convert it to an ebook. So we'll convert it individually and it will show us convert from PDF format to EPUB format. Give us a chance to change the information here. We click OK and it will take a little longer to convert this much larger book with lots of graphics in it. And when it's done we'll have both a PDF and EPUB format in our Calibre library. So now that we're done, we have both formats we can select view and we can view in a specific format. We can choose the EPUB format and we can see that this differs greatly from the PDF format. Here there's a Calibre ebook viewer and if we go through this we can see that the text is reformatted to fit in a page and you can change the font size for instance to make it easier to read. Whereas if we view the PDF version of the file, it will simply launch it in preview and we actually have it well formatted exactly as you would see in the printed version of the book. So if you have a PDF version of a book, you may want to consider not reading it in iBooks at all on your iPad or iPhone, but using something like Goodreader or any PDF viewer and viewing it in that. But if you do want to convert it to EPUB, just keep in mind you'll lose some of the formatting, although all the text will be there. Now for something like a textbook, like something you downloaded from Gutenberg, then you can convert it to EPUB format and it works great. Of course, this also works great if you have something that's not a traditionally published book, like say a research paper, maybe something you wrote, maybe a report from work. You can convert it to the EPUB format and use iBooks to read it. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.